Hey, Boston Bruce here, and Japan's turn, 4.3. We're in uh, January 1938. Uh, I'm going to get right away into it. First off, tech rolls. Uh, we're at going to go for wartime economy, which requires a 7, and improved construction, which requires a 7. We're at stage, two for, uh, stage 1 for that one. All right, let's see how we can do. Hopefully, I can match uh, Panzer J's five for five. Ooh, we got an eight and a ten. We went two for two. Sweet. Thousand percent for the Axis this turn. Okay, so that puts uh, proof construction up to two. And we're on the board with wartime economy. Sweet. Those are two we want right away. All right, purchases. All right, we have... 12 28 bucks okay so we are going to spend it all we're going to upgrade one militia for two we're going to buy two snlf marines for 10 five each two mountain infantry for four each a light armor and an artillery for four each okay combat moves we are going to attack Huang Tung over here, which is a mountainous territory. And they have four militia. So we're going to bring those four militia over to the battle board. They defend at two. I am bringing. Two, infant, uh, two infantry, one infantry and one marine from the island of Hainan are going to get on this transport and invade. They're not walking over. They're getting on the transport so I can bombard. I'm not sure if they walked over or if I could use a bombard, if that's considered amphibious. I think it is, but I'm not positive. So we got a marine. Where is he? Over here. An infantry. We're going to bring three infantry from Hunan. No, I'm sorry. Two infantry from Hunan. The militia can't move. Get them on the board, too. We're going to take those two transports and that one destroyer up there. And we're going to pick up two artillery, two marines, and one cavalry. And drop it all off in Hong Kong. So we are going to move our boats just over to Sea Zone 89 only. I'm not going to 88. Uh, is it 88? No. Yeah, 88. I'm not going to 88 with those boats. They're going to get off here to invade. So I'm going to put those two Marines over here. Uh, two, uh, one Cavalry over there. Two Artillery. Over here, and these units here, the two artillery and the two cavalry cannot get off on the initial first round invasion. They can't attack. So I am bringing seven units total, which means I can have seven bombards. In this sea zone here, I already have two battleships and a heavy cruiser, I'm gonna, a battle cruiser I'm going to use. I'm going to slide them over to the board. Uh, from C zone 54, I'm going to come down two spaces down to 88 and use three heavy cruisers. And I'm also going to bring one light cruiser from C zone 54 down to 88 for bombards. We're also going to use, off the carrier that's in this zone, we're going to use one tack bomber and a fighter. A fighter. Tack bomber. We're going to take the four planes that are in Nanking also. They're going to go one, two. So that gives us three fighters. We're going to bring two more attack bombers from Nanking. The 
put that militia back in. And militia over here. Okay. Oh. We're going to bring two motorized. They're going to come one, two. They're going to attack also, but they are not uh, part of the amphibious assault. And as far as combat moves, uh, that is it. Okay, so we're going to get into some rolling. Let's get some dice over here. I'm going to use a yellow dice for the cruiser. I am going to use green for the heavy cruiser. I'm going to use a white dice for my battle cruiser. And I'm going to use red for the battleships. And they hit at four. So... I need two red dice, one white dice, three green dice, and then one yellow dice. Okay, looking for low numbers. I'm looking for some low numbers here. And I see a one on the green. That's definitely a hit. The two is a hit on the battleship. We'll take these two over here. So we got one, uh, two bombards that... Made contacts. The others are 5, 10, 7, 12, and a 6. All misses. So we got two hits right off the bat. That'll leave them with, they had four, and leave them with two infantry, uh, two militia, I'm sorry. They get the fight back. Okay, let's do some planes. I think we can get this done pretty quick without even wearing. Let's see. We got three TAC bombers. That's uh, seven. And I see a six or four. That's two hits. We'll roll three fighters. A nine, two, and a five. Okay, so plenty of hits there. They have two militia. We'll see what they do. Hey, first time I didn't take the casualty attacking the KMT. Alrighty, sweet. Okay, so they are out of there. I'm going to get a rondelle. And the Japanese take Kwong Chung. Let's work two points. Puts us up to 29. Uh, drops the KMT down to two. I believe two. Must be what this is. Actually... Yunnan is worth one. And I'm not sure why I have them at what I had them at, but going to that, they now have only one income. So I believe they're at one. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but we can adjust it later. I'm actually going to move this down here, even though it's not, uh, I've got it. I'm not getting the bonus for it, but I'm going to move that rondelle down. All right, so I'm going to move uh, these off the board into this C-Zone 88 fleet marker, all of them. This is uh, not really non-combat. They were already there, and they're not moving. My next non-combat move, the two... Uh, Ships that are left there, they are also going to come, that are in C-Zone 54, are going to come down one, two, join the rest of the fleet. All of my planes that took off into that fight are going to land in, let's see, two of them are going to go back on the carrier, one TAC bomber, one fighter, like I had. On the fleet carrier. Uh, the other four planes are going to land in Hunan. Two tack bombers. 
And two fighters. I'm going to land in Hunan, which gives me the two fighters, two tack bombers, and one m m militia. Okay, in Kwong Tung, everything that landed, we're going to have two artillery. One cavalry. Uh, one, two, three regular infantry. Three marines. I'm going to chip all that out after to make my board a little more organized. And two motorized. I'll put those right next to the... Uh, Artillery. So we got a nice little force there. Three Marines, one cavalry, three infantry, two motorized, two artillery. All right. Non combat, other non combat moves. I am going to take this one infantry in Peking. He's going to go into Szechuan. This cavalry, I'm going to rail all the way to Hunan. This other cavalry that is in Hopei is going to go two spaces down into Hunan. So that gives me two infantry in Hopei, two in Suiyan. This one infantry in, where is that? Shangtung is going to move into Hopei. Actually, one, two. No, he is not. Oh, sneaky little cavalry over there. I almost forgot about those guys. All right. Oh, let's see. One, two. Let's do that. I'll let him do that. All right. Mm. I believe that is it. I think I moved every piece on the board almost. So for some subs here. And yeah, I believe that's it. For no combat. Double track. Two, two. Two in Suiyan, two in Hopei. Shang Tung. One. Okay. Yep. All right. My militia upgrade is the one in Hopei here. So I'm going to take that militia chip out. This is where units are better than units with chips. Again, like I said, I'll chip that out. Uh, place units. I have five units to place. The light armor is going to go in Rihi. And the two SNLFs, the two mountain, and the artillery are all going to go in Kyushu. Over here. I'll put them on after. Uh, I'm at $29 in income. There's no more U.S. oil trade bonus. I've made three combat moves in China. Uh, I ain't getting that no more. And uh, so I'll collect my income. I saved none. I have $29. I went up two. And that is the end of Japan. Turn 4.3. I'm going to turn it over to Global War Enthusiasts with the British Commonwealth and France. Thank you.